Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to bring out two different groups of people. Separating the sheep from the goats. Sheep and the goats, which Christ was mentioned in Matthew 25, 31, and 46. This is going to be his job. Separating the unrighteous, the goat, and the righteous is the sheep. What does this got to do with Jehovah's Witnesses? It's a lot. Here's the thing. Which one you consider as Jehovah's Witnesses, sheep or goats? Well, when a Jehovah's Witness breaks God's law and becomes a pedophile that molests children and the cover up from the elders to keep this person in the congregations while the victim is being pressured and the parents is being pressured not to tell anyone in the congregation or the police or they could be disfellowshipped. But the question is, does it matter if who's in the congregation? Are there sheep? And all, are there goats in the congregation? The bad Jehovah's Witnesses or the good Jehovah's Witnesses? Well, if you study the real truth about the false teachings of the Watchtower, there is no sheep in Watchtower's religion. They're all goat-like people because they can't comprehend the lies being told by the Watchtower. So, Here's some more pictures of sheep and goats. Jehovah's Witnesses, do you really believe you are truly sheep or y'all being bullheaded by the governed body and believe you have the truth? I mean, actually, you fit this character right here. So when the separation of the sheep and the goats comes, it's going to be horrible because actually you can't separate sheep from the goats from Jehovah's Witnesses because they're all goats. The only ones that is true like sheep is the ones that are leaving Jehovah's Witnesses' religion and not joining any religion. Now, what does this video got to do with the elders, minister servants, and the pedophiles? Well, I have a solution. Since Jehovah's Witnesses claim they have the true religion, they are sheep. So that means when an elder goes bad, becomes a pedophile, there's a solution. Because to his um, problem. Since in, in his heart, he don't have a sheep-like heart, he must have a goat-like heart to uh, molest children in the congregation. So here's a solution that Jehovah would rather him to do, leave the innocent children alone, Buy yourself a blow-up doll, elders, ministers, servants, the ones that are pedophiles, 
Buy yourself a blow up doll. And you can make love to it. You can do whatever you want to do. Leave the children alone. If you're going to act like a goat, then get yourself a goat. Quit hurting people. And the, and the elders that who protecting the children? No. They're not protecting the children. They're protecting the pedophile. So really, they need to buy themselves a blow-up doll and tell their wives go to, to find another man because the elders has a heart of a goat. So they need to stick together with their own kind because they're protecting the guilty and, and not protecting the the innocent. So I think your God Jehovah will bless you to have sex with a goat. Not a real goat, but this fake goat to keep you destroying the lives of innocent children that has a right to live, right to have good memories. Good memories to remember, not the ones that y'all gave them that stayed with them 15, 20, 30, 40 years later because they trusted y'all. They trusted the elders. They trusted the members in the congregation. Those are the ones who has a goat-like heart and the ones will be going and will be, be destroyed by Christ. And not only them, the governed body, and whoever follows them, which is Jehovah's Witnesses, y'all all going to be separated from the real sheep, the ones who left Jehovah's Witnesses' religion. We know the true teaching of the Watchtower. It's nothing but lies. People... We know who's in the control of the watchtower. Goat like men that claiming to be something they are not to cause people to come into this religion, leaving sheep like heart to become goat-like heart till they finally wake up and realize they've been lied to so they can go back to be a sheep-like person. So they would be ones that would recognize Christ and serve Him from the Bible. You don't need religion. You don't need seven men from Brooklyn New York to tell you they are the chosen ones. People, if you don't believe my words about the watchtower and those seven men, go to Jake, J-A-K-K-E, Control, and look up Jeffrey Jackson in those videos. He's in court. You'll see the truth of his ignorance, his um, goat-like heart. He doesn't care about anyone except how to make himself righteous in court when they ask him simple questions. He, even a kindergarten could answer yes or no. But this guy is supposed to be inspired by God, and he could not answer simple little questions. People, this is your governed body. They will never be like a sheep. Qualities, honest. That's all their gov your governed body is. 
and that's what they're going to be. They're going to be on the other side of Christ, and they will be destroyed. So it's your choice to be like them or choose to be with them. And those pedophile elders, remember, your God Jehovah will bless you if you blow up your own billy goat with your billy goat heart and start molesting your goat and leave the children alone. They're not yours. They're not your play toy. This can be your play toy. Thank you and have a nice day.